The fair was made possible by the Regional Science Fair Committee through the Region 4 Department of Education. Thirty six schools from along the east bank of Demerara, ranging from nursery to secondary, are participating in the fair. The schools portray the ideas on ways to make Guyana an environmentally friendly community. The top three schools will be rewarded with prizes. Principal of Diamond Secondary, Pramila Bridgewater, says the school was proud to be host of such an event. She noted that the fair will give schools a chance to display their ideas on making Guyana a better society. The students are able to showcase what they're doing, what they're learning about protecting the environment. They're coming up with innovative ways by which they can protect the environment based on global warming and how to sustain the environment. All the exhibits that are being displayed today are innovative ways by which we can protect the environment, have something green to sustain our future on this planet. Meanwhile, News Update spoke with some of the participating schools to get a brief idea about their presentation. It's about um, reducing pollution in a way that is environmentally friendly in Guyana. Since um, garbage is a major problem in Guyana, we try to implement something that would reduce the, reduce the, um, the garbage in Guyana. Actually, since I said before, since garbage is a major problem, we try to implement something that will reduce the amount of garbage. So, Sornardio, a big help, said we should do something like this. That's basically how it comes up. My name is Rashi Ryan and this is Selena. I will explain to you. The name of this game is Banking with Piggy. And this game is played something like a Monopoly. Whenever you roll the dice and you get six, that's when you start the game. Now when you start the game, and if you roll the game and you get two, you put it at a number, and the number that you get, you have to choose a card from this little box, and then you have to use this table and tell us the answer in 30 seconds. And that is how we play this game. And at the end of this game, the person with the most money or the points will have to be the winner of the game. And this is Timothy Jr. We're from Craig Primary School. Now today we have a... a Solar pan, a model of a solar panel water heater. It heats water, collector, traps, observes the heat from the sun, warm water goes in the top and comes out as hot water. It is used as for taking bath, preparing beverages, and other stuff. Mr. Carson, I'm from Providence Primary. Our model is showing the uses of solar energy against fossil fuel. As you can see, fossil fuel is causing a lot of damage to the environment. The trees are dying out because of a gas emitted from the exhaust of the vehicle which is used in fossil fuel. This gas is called carbon monoxide. It is known as the gas which contributes to global warming. As you can see, most organisms do not live in this area because of this gas. It can cause respiratory illness to animals and organisms, even humans. And solar energy causes little or no harm to the environment. As you can see, the trees are growing healthy and the birds are over there because there's more food and better shelter for them to live. Well, this exhibit deals mainly with post-consumer waste and there's three categories of paper that can be used for making recycled paper. And, it, and they are Millbrook, pre-consumer waste and post-consumer waste. Millbrook is paper trimmings and other paper scrap from the manufacture of paper and is recycled internally in a paper mill.